if we were talking about Iran, and Iran is a disease of a heart that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned us from and you find it in verse number 14 in Surah Al-Mutafifin where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Kalla barrana ala qulubihim ma kanu yaksibun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Iran means Ghuliba ala al-qalbi hatta tasadda means the heart will be overcome till it becomes so rusty and the rust is a result of ghafla because as I have said the diseases of the heart come under three categories amradul shubuhat wa amradul shahawat wa amradul ghafalat diseases because of doubt disease because of desire diseases because of ghafla we just taken away we live a routine without adopting a certain philosophy and to clean our heart from that rust I said we must discipline ourselves on a right philosophy. We must have the right outlook toward this dunya. We must not let the dunya so much in our hearts. We must not corrupt our hearts by running so fast behind the dunya. And we know that if the heart is corrupt, then the whole body is corrupt. But the only way you purify your heart is you have to act upon this philosophy. You have to have a right philosophy in life and you have to act upon this philosophy. Because we, by our own action, we corrupt our own heart, not vice versa. It's a vicious cycle. It is a cause and effect, like I've said before. We do bad things, then our heart becomes bad. And when our heart becomes bad, we do more bad things till it becomes worse then we trivialize bigger sin and we do them and it's a vicious cycle start with ourselves start with our deed that's why the scholar said he said the heart is rusty and is hardened by our bad deeds and why we do bad deeds because we're so much attached to the dunya and why are we so much attached to the dunya because we have endless hopes and wishes and unconsciously we think we will live forever and why do we do that because the love of the dunya and the love of the dunya is the cause of every sin and of every deviation and of every mistake and the only way to overcome the love of the dunya is by you adopting the right philosophy convince yourself with the right philosophy and that philosophy should be the philosophy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this dunya is not the place where you're gonna harvest any success the harvest is hereafter but this dunya you are building you are building and you're planting what you will harvest hereafter so this is the